Tuesday, 4th December 2018. Very excited about making this video. And I'll tell you why. It's called Google Slides Drawings Shape, Fill, Color, Gradient, Custom. It looks like this and it could have been here for a while, but the big deal is that when you do a shape in Google Drawings or Slides, you get a solid color as demonstrated on the left. You can move over and do a gradient. Now, up to now, you can choose these um, pre-fills and yesterday I clicked the word custom to reveal a new box to me. Could have been there a while, who knows? I've not seen it myself. Let's show you what it can do and why it's so exciting because what you see on my slides is something called school bus yellow. It's a solid color and that's why I've kept it like it because I didn't think I had a choice. Now here's the school bus yellow but with this um, one two color gradient, let's go to another one and another one which is really nice because you've got a sun and the darkness and then it goes off with a bit of orange in the top corner with some darkness and a white one. Oh, why have we got a white one because that's the demo one so let's show you because I think if we get actually to a level uh, which is quite nice we can do some um, I was gonna say damage actually some creative damage on this so how does it work short demo go over to um, a shape fill and it could be any shape circles rectangles I know anything that can be thrown away and filled and then we go to gradient and then you'll notice that there is a custom button and because I've been playing around I've got quite a lot of custom sets here so click custom. So at the moment what you'll find is that we've got a type of a linear or radial. Let's play around with radial. We can position it let's say in the center, top and bottom. I'm going to do center and then this is the really interesting point is because what I didn't realize and there's no help pages that I've actually looked at here and that is that um, rotate with shape. What does that mean? I actually don't know what that means. Okay fine let's have a look. So first color I'm going to choose is select a color and I'm going to say a red and the end color notice I'm selecting the box is going to be a say orange this time and there is the middle part now what you'll notice is that if I try and drag these colors pretty much nothing happens what well, I'm going to rotate with colors I'm still not sure about that it doesn't matter let me come back to that because I'm learning and showing people so watch what happens when I add a couple more gradient stops. Now I can make these stops, notice what's happening here. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see it on screen. Uh, will that make it bigger? Yeah, I think it probably does. Yeah, that's a good example. So when I've added my customs and I can take them away by clicking remove gradient stop, let's add one back in again. So this left one, you'll notice how that's changing. Move that there, we've got this middle one which is doing that color of the portion of the red orange mix and this one does one on the oh and you can swap them over as well interesting now watch what happens if we Richard of York yellow I'm doing the colors of the rainbow with the mnemonic so let's put a um, yellow in there let's have a yellow in there and see what happens now it's changing then we can actually do some colors like that you can see where we're going with this and instantly we can go and say I want it tops left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. I'm going to stick with center for the moment and then I'm going to just wonder what happens when I click rotate with shape. Mm, not sure what it's doing anything. I wonder if I put that as a linear rotate with shape. Uh, I, I think it must be the rotation of when you actually, uh, if I click that OK and say that was our thing, if I started rotating now you can see that rotate with shape means that the yellow has actually moved with the shape let's see if I can go back and see if that's going to change so I'm learning here as well we go to custom we go to this time don't rotate with the shape so I'm going to guess that this time when I rotate it the horizontal yellow band will stay let's have a look yeah that's exactly what's happening so that's what rotate with shape is so I think we can be finished there, can't we? Because I could easily go along here and play around all day long with it, uh, which I'd love to do. Love to do. Let's just bring that up um, to the different angles. Look, let's have 135 degrees. And let's do a radio, which we, we can see that is irrelevant at this stage if you are going to linear. So we've got the degrees there. So it's type angle preview. We can take away and add these colors. Any add 
that you make, as I've just demonstrated, you go in to add different colours. There's my school bus yellow there. Rotate with the shape done. And then we can get something quite nice. Now the next one I want to do is give out a quick shout out because I'd love to see what this person makes of this feature because I'm no graphic artist unlike this person which I'm about to say which is, where is he, uh, Joshua Pomeroy's channel. Go check it out. He does some brilliant, brilliant things on Google Drive and graphic design in general. And I'd love to see what Joshua does with this new feature. So that was me done. And the final slide, going into the sun. I've disappeared into the sun. Until next time, of course.